Steve Kim for UCN Live. I'm here with the WBA middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Golovkin. Gennady, another hard day's work. The one thing that I marvel at in regards to you is every day you seem to be having fun at your job. No, it is every day hard work, you know, because I understand my situation. I understand my life. This is my serious business. This is my business. You know, this is very important for me. You've been boxing for years, though. Um, a lot of amateur fights, been a pro for a while, a lot of training camps. Do you ever get tired or fatigued mentally of boxing? No, it's no problem. Yeah, just long. I have, you're right. I, I have a lot of fights in amateurs and profi. Profi big different. You know, mm -hmm. I like profi style because this fight, you know, like warrior, you know, like this. 12th round, very important, you know, just not three rounds, not game. Mm -hmm. This is this is fight. Is it still fun for you, even at this age? After all these years, do you still have fun at it? Yes, exactly. Really? exactly. Yes, absolutely. Because, you know, I, I have just maybe a couple years, mm -hmm. just too short for my career, you know, just. It is hard business, serious business, very dangerous business. Mm -hmm. How excited are you about your future? Because I, I know when you were with your original promoter, you were basically kept away from big fights because they had Felix Sturm. I'm sure that was frustrating. Now it seems as though you're on the verge of very big things. C can you describe your emotions over that? Oh, thank you very much for my team. You know, just uh, for my coach and for my team and for my fans, of course. You know, thank you very much for my channel, HBO special, you know, because it helped me. And right now I have WBC interim. You know, Miguel Cotto, respect him, great champion. He's champion WBC. I think I'm official challenger for him. And in the future, I hope so. Big fight. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter for me where, with who, just I want unification fight. Mm -hmm. I want, for me, it's very important who is best in the world. You know, just who is the best, who is number one in the world middle division. If you had your choice before you moved up to 68, whether it's Andre Ward, Carl Fraud, Julio Cesar Chavez, is your number one goal, Gennady, to unify the 160-pound division? Absolutely, absolutely, yes. Because I'm open, I'm ready for everyone, you know, for everybody. Just first, maybe pepper fight. Because right now, my situation, I can't work with uh, who? Miguel Cota is pepper fight. Uh, Canelo Alvarez is pepper fight. Of course, Chavez Jr. is pepper fight. And next, who? Andrew Ward, yes, of course, it's a great fight for everybody, and Carl Froch. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Gennady, going back to your work today, today you sparred six rounds, three rounds each with David Imarosi, and then three rounds with Julius Jackson. Yeah. These, yeah, these guys are big guys. Uh, do you ever feel their strength? Yeah, I feel a little bit just, no, I did today seven rounds, just, uh, you know, Julius. He's a great fighter, you know, just today he's 180. Mm -hmm. You know, just for me, this is just practice, you know, just not not more strategy, mm -hmm. just I'm a little slight, like my position, my situation, you know, like my timing, mm -hmm. my speed, just very important for me, for my strategy. And same last my David, David, he's good, good speed, just for my eyes, you know, just this hard work. After you face guys who are as big as light heavyweights, sometimes cruiserweights, when you get into a real fight, Gennady, when you fight a 160 pounder, does it seem easier? Yeah, it is easy, yeah, just because right now it's not, my speed is not perfect. Mm -hmm. Just I'm slow, like for very important for me position right now. And next week, more concentration for speed, you know, mm -hmm. just too easy for me, sparring easy for me because my speed is better. Gennady, I love this apparatus, the aqua bag. Now, I saw you working on this. What do you like about this particular bag here? I like, I like because, you know, more power, more focus, like... Um, more power, more focus, and like, accuracy. yeah, exactly, yeah, and hard punch, or like hand, mm -hmm. you know, this like heads, because, you know, I can hook up, and just, it's great. Right, and is it much easier on your shoulders and hands? To Inza exactly, you know, just not just hands, just shoulders, arms, just, just body. Gennady, let's move forward to February 21st, you're taking on Martin Murray, as we have a visitor here. And, that, and that, that, that is little Triple G that, that interrupted us here. 
Gennady, looking ahead to February 21st, you do have a fight at hand. Martin Murray, describe him. He seems like a very rough, tough, physical guy. Yeah, he's a tough guy. You're right. He's a great fighter. You know, this is my first step this year. You know, okay, he's a big guy. He's a strong guy. You know, I know this is not a game. This is a very serious fight and big test for me, for us, because, you know, he understands his situation. He had... Two fights is title fights mm -hmm. with Sergio Martinez in Argentina and Felix, Felix Sturm in Germany. Yeah, both. Very, yeah, both very close fight. You know, just I remember I watched these fights. You know, I understand it's great fight. Maybe he understand too because last fight title fight for him. Mm -hmm. You know, just he's more focused. Uh, focused. Yeah, focused, more special, more concentration for this fight. Would you say he's the toughest guy you faced as a middleweight champion, just physically being able to take punishment and also just be durable? Uh, yes, this is my first fight. You know, that's my first fight this year. You know, why not? He's a big, strong guy. You know, my hard work every day. Just I, I work for future. Mm -hmm. Okay, of course, this is my focus on Martin Murray now. No. And the future, I hope so. It's a big fight. Okay, this is it. The WBA middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Golovkin. This is Steve Kim for UCN Live.